Hey guys, what's up Abomination9 here, we're back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. We left off, we opened up, what, another 10 of Generation Next, which we're actually gonna roll back real quick and open up 20 New Impact, because there's a bunch of cards from New Impact that I want, uh, so I need to get around to opening them. Uh, I still have like 8 billion gems, so I might as well, it's only gonna cost me a thousand. I don't know how fast I'm gonna go through this either. Uh, we'll see. Like, I don't think I'm gonna read all of them. Maybe I'll read them. I don't know. Because we've seen them all. Gravedigger, Ghoul, Target of the Two Monsters, New Pawns, Graveyard, Banish them. I'll try to go fast. Arcane Archer of the Force. While there is a plant type monster on the side of the field, this card cannot be attacked. Retributing one plant type monster on your, your side of the field, destroy one spell or trap on the field. Oh, I should get a new card. Death's Counter Blow. Destroy any monster that inflicts battle damage to a player's life points by attacking directly. What? Okay, that's pretty crazy. I didn't even realize that was a card. That's pretty good. Though we're probably going to get Jack here, so 20 packs isn't really enough. High Tide on the Fire Island. If you control level 7 or higher water fire, apply the effects below. If it's water, special summon as many water monsters as possible that went where that were sent to the graveyard. To activate monster effects this turn, then destroy one monster you control. Fire, destroy one monster on the field. Then, if you have any cards in your hand, discard one card to the graveyard. Uh, Doria, Doriado's Blessing. This card is used to control summon elemental mistress. Uh, Doria, Doriado? Let's call it just let's call it Dorito. Mr. Dorito. Uh, you must also tribute monsters whose total levels equal three or more from the field or your hand. I don't know if I have her. Oh, cool, we got Guardian Seal. Somehow I had not gotten this card yet. Which is a great card though. I need uh Starbo Seal to use them. I cannot be summoned unless you control a face up shooting Starbo Seal. You can send one equip spell card you control that is equipped to do this card to the graveyard. Track one monster you can, your opponent controls, destroy that card. Oh, Jaden on this one for some reason. Patrol Rubble, never seen this card before. During your standby phase, you can look at one face down card that, uh, that's been set by your opponent as long as this card remains face up on the field. There's a. Uh, ritual card back there. Radiant Spirits. When this card is destroyed by battle, into the graveyard, destroy all face down and non light monsters. And Lycanthrope. Cool. I wanted a, a three set of this. This card can only be ritual summoned with the ritual spell card synthesis spell. Uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each normal monster in your graveyard. Ooh, triple Creeps into a wink, into an explosion, into. nothing. Emissary of the Oasis. Uh, while the face up level 3 or lower normal monsters on, uh, on your side of the field, your opponent cannot select this card as an attack target while this card is face up on... Uh, face up on your side of the field. Any battle damage to the controller of this card from battle involving a level 3 or lower normal monster becomes a 0. So... I've obviously gotten this card before. Does this mean that you can spawn some jellies or something from like a jelly jam? I forgot what it's called. I just call it jelly jammer. Um, you spawn some jellies and she can't be damaged. Because I'm assuming those are under level 3 or at least level 3 or below. So they'd have to attack the jelly jams first and then you would take no damage from them killing the jellies. I'm assuming that's how it would work. A chop man, the desperate outlaw. When this card is flip summoned, you can equip one spell card in your graveyard to this card. Natura Dragonfly. Apparently, I haven't gotten any of these before. Uh, this is an insect that this card cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has 2,000 or more attack. This card gains 200 attack for each interior monster in your graveyard. Oh, we got a blue tint on this one. Gravedigger's Ghoul, we already read. Soul Demolition, haven't gotten this one before. You can only activate this card's effect when you have a fiend type monster on your side of the field. Pay 500 life points to use this effect. Both players select one monster card from their opponent's graveyard. Re remove the selected card from play. Eh? And Shadow Slayer, if all monsters your opponent controls are in defensive position, this can attack your opponent directly. So we've gotten through this pretty quickly. It's 5 Awakening, uh, emblem, of the, emblem of the Awakening, which you. 
summon a ritual summon chew with this meteor dragon didn't have any of these need this for black meteor dragon or meteor black dragon I don't know what it's called but you need this card to fusion summon him machine king prototype cool I only had one of these before now I can add it to a machine deck which this card gains 100 attack and defense for every machine type on the field except himself Ooh, blue, uh, I'm blue. Yellow tint on this one. Ritual of Grace. This card is used for Ritual Summon Divine Grace North Wemco. You must also tribute blah blah blah. During your main phase, you can remove from play this card from your graveyard to make one face of Ritual Monster you control become untargetable by effects this turn. That's pretty crazy. Absorbing Kid from the Sky, apparently new. When this card destroys a monster and sends it to the graveyard as a drill battle, it'll increase your life points by the level of the destroyed monster times 300. It's not that bad, though its attack is subpar, so it won't be killing anything, really, unless you buff it. And another new card, Ally of Justice Garadholg. Uh, average attack. This card battles a light monster, gains 200 attack during the damage step only, so it's 18 if it attacks a light type. It's okay. Nothing too crazy so far. This pack doesn't really seem that good. Or doesn't really seem that good for dropping. Uh, Ru Rin Kazan. There are face up wind when there are face up wind, water, fire, and earth monsters on the field. Apply one of these effects, destroy all monsters your opponent controls, control all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Destroy two random cards from your opponent's hand or draw two cards. The beginning of the end, if there are seven or more dark monsters in your graveyard, banish five of them and draw three. Another nature is Dragonfly, Triple Creeps, with a yellow tint and a Jaden face. Soul Demolition again. Sprite's Blessing. This card is used to ritual summon any light ritual monster. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels exactly equal the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. And our special is the very last uh, super rare on this list, I believe, before going into the ultras. Which is Paladin of the White Dragon, which is a great card because you ritual summon him with the White Dragon ritual. Uh, if this card attacks face down defensive position monster, destroy that face down defensive position monster. Also, you can just tribute this card to summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon from anywhere but the graveyard, but it can't attack the turn you summon it. So great card. So it's pretty much a free blue eyes if you have blue eyes in your hand or deck. And all you gotta do is ritual summon it. So that was a good pull. I can't believe we're still opening packs. The heck? Patrol Robo White Dragon Ritual, which we need to summon Paladin. Uh, that we just got. And Ally of Justice Claw Solus. Alright, cool. So obviously Paladin's a highlight, though this is the a uh, good highlight as well. Uh, Lycanthrope as well. Anything else? We need this for the fusion for Black Meteor Dragon. Seal's good. So not too bad. I would reset to try to get another Meteor Black, but eh. We can uh, So this is a large, so we can get another Super Rare off of this. So we're opening up another 10. I don't want to blow all of my gems on this. So I'm not going to go any further, I don't think. Arcane Archer of the Forest, we saw him already. Mylis Radiant. As long as this card remains faceable on the field, increase the attack of all Earth monsters by 500 points, and increase all win by 400. Release Restraint Wave. Try one face of equipped spell. You control, destroy the equipped card, and all face down spell and trap cards you put in controls. That's alright. Ooh, single Kree, but a yellow tint. Bamboo Scrap. Tribute one plant type monster. Special summon two plant tokens. Uh which are 800-500 to your opponent's side of the field in defensive position. Um, Milos Radiant again, and a third Naturia's Dragonfly. Emissary of the Oasis again, High Tide of the On Fire Island again, and Machine King Default. There's nothing else. This card gains 100 attack for each Machine Type monster on the field. Okay, so like I, I didn't even realize there was this kind of Machine King. I've never seen it before. Also, the other Machine King, uh, the lesser Machine King's art is way better than this. I know a lot of art, or early on art in Yu-Gi-Oh! sucks. Like, I'm not one to judge, but it, like, it's just super bad. Like, 
in my opinion, incredibly, incredibly bad. And this is, like, who drew this? And who drew the other Machine King? Because I feel like the other Machine King looks better than this, by far. So, uh, I don't know, Triple Creeps. Oh, what, and a Jane Bam. Uh, Raging Earth. When this card is destroyed by battle and sends the graveyard, destroy all face on, uh, and... Anything that isn't Earth and anything that's face down. Servant of Cattle, uh, Catabolism. Smells you can attack your opponent's life points directly. Hopefully, this is Lycanthrope. No, it is a freaking ultra rare. Divine Grace, North Wemco. I might reset this. Uh, this card can only be Ritual Summon with, of course, its Ritual Spell card. Or that one we got earlier. That's all lights. That can Ritual Summon all light types. Uh, once card is Ritual Summon, select a number of face up cards on the field except this card. Up to the number of monsters you use for the Ritual Summon, or well, any of the selected cards are face up on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Alright, so, it's a pretty card, and its attack is quite nice. So I guess I can't really reset it while we're doing this. Beginning of the end, we saw already. Treaty uh, on uniform uh, nomenclature. If you control two or more face up monsters with the same name, except tokens, apply this effect depending on how many you control. Exactly two, destroy one spell of trap cards you put in control. Exactly three, destroy all spell slash trap cards you put in controls. And Fairy of the Spring, target one equip card you, in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. That equip card cannot be activated this turn. Single Creeps. I don't know, maybe we should open up 25. Oh, is that a Lycanthrope? Come on. Absorbing Kid from the Sky or whatever. Scanner. Once per turn, you can select one of your opponent's monsters that is removed from play until the end phase. This card name is treated as a selected monster's name, and this card has the same attributes, level, attack, and defense as a selected monster. If this card is removed from play, or removed from the field, or this effect is applied, remove it from play. And, oh, it's, okay, it's her. It's Dorito. This card can only be Ritual Summon, with, of course, its Ritual spell card. The attribute of this card is treated as Wind, Water, Fire, and Earth, while it, it is face-up on the field, which you would use this with you know, that card, that spell card we saw earlier. Triple Karibs. I don't know, I might just super dip into this. Yellow Tint, Scanner, Raging Earth, and the Djinn uh, Disarray of Rituals. Uh, when you Ritual Summon a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard as one of the monsters required for the Ritual Summon, which only has a level of one. The Ritual, the monster Ritual Summon using this card is unaffected by trap cards, huh? That's alright, except for the fact that you're only a one cost, so you're barely usable. Other than your special effects. Dorby Kid from the Sky, Chop the Desperate Outlaw, and the Ally of Justice, Colossalus, or whatever his name is. Blue Tint on this one. And was it a Triple Creeps as well? Destruction Cyclone, when this card is destroyed by Battle and the Graveyard, destroy all face down and non wind monsters. Ritual of Grace, of course, summon North Wemco. And Leotar, 15 16, so average. If this card battles a non normal monster. This card gains 500 attack during the damage step only. So it's 2000 if you're fighting an effect monster, fusion monster, or ritual monster, which is almost everything. You hardly see any normal types nowadays. Single Creed. A major upset. Tribute one face up attack position level 2 or lower. Monster you control. Return all face up level 7 or higher. Special summon monster through the hand. Uh, situational. Painful Escape. Tribute one monster, add one monster with the same original type, attribute, and level, but with a different and original name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So, they have Ojamas there, so throw away Ojama Black to get Ojama Yellow, as we are seeing here. And a fourth Nacheria Butterfly, so it's useless to me. But, we got freaking North Wemco. And her, which only have one of her, unfortunately. How many of her rituals do we have? That's for Wemco. Can we see related? We can. We only have one Dorito as well. Dorito ritual. Hmm. Should I reset this now that we have Wemco and Meteor Dragon taken? Nothing else has been grabbed, so I don't know. Nah. I won't. And because it'll be easy to get the extra... 
Oh, I guess this would be a 30 pack. So. Hey, it'll be easy to grab another couple gems that put me back to over a thousand. We're triple dipping for 30 freaking packs. Neo Impact, let's go. This is Triple Kareebs, nothing special. Pixie Knight. When this card is sent to the graveyard as a rules of battle, your opponent selects one spell of the card from your graveyard and places that card on top of the deck. Destruction Cyclone and Elemental Valkyrie. This monster gains the following effects while there is a monster with the following attributes on the field. If there's a fire, gain 500. Or if there's a water, control this card cannot be switched. Single Karibs. Ritual of Destruction. This is used to uh, summon uh, Garlandulf, King of Destruction. You must also trip your monsters whose total levels equal 7 or more from the field. Uh, from the field or your hand during your main phase, you can remove this from play from the graveyard. If you do during this turn, any monster destroyed by battle with a ritual monster you control will be returned to the top of the deck instead of being sent to the graveyard. Synthesis spell. This card is used to ritual summon Lycanthrope, which ugh, I didn't even freaking have any of these either. Uh, blah blah blah. Fairy of the Spring. I almost want a quad dip, honestly. Oh, this one has some higher glyphs in the back. A major upset. Virtual Whoopin, which I, this this and the Fusion one are what I'm looking for, honestly. Or one of the cards I'm looking for. I know I have another one of those, if I had one at all. I think I might have had one. Oh, I didn't even read it. Whoops. Uh, well, it was Ritual Weapon, and what it does is any level 6 or lower Ritual card gains 1500 attack and defense, I think. When encrypted to them. Release Restraint Weave. I don't know, like, I might quad dip here, honestly. Just to be crazy. Hopefully that's freaking, like, Anthrope. Phantom Cricket, uh, when it's flipped, return one face down monster from the field to the top of its owner's deck. It's alright. Altar for Tribute. Select one monster on your side of the field and send it to the graveyard. Increase your life points by an amount equal to the original attack of the monster. That's alright. And a second Lycanthrope. Cool. Though we still need another... Ritual card. I think there is a ritual card used to ritual summon any earth type, and I think I have it. Like in a, another set, I think it's part of. I'm pretty sure I have it. Unless I'm crazy. Ray of Hope. Add two light monsters from your graveyard to your deck and shuffle it. Grey Wing. Discard one card from your hand during your main phase. Uh, one, this monster can attack twice during the battle phase this turn. And Ancient Dragon. This card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack. You can increase the uh, card's level by 1 and attack by 500, which is pretty decent. Single Creed. Fairy King uh, Trace Dale. Never seen this guy before. Well, this card is in defensive position. All plant type monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Whoa. And he himself is a plant, so he has 2,000 defense. That's actually not too bad. Like, I just spent a while grabbing 3. Rotating three, uh, uh, Mary, Marina, uh, Marina, the Sunflower Princess or something from the Trader. So I have three of those now. So, Sunflower Prince, Sunflower, oh my god, Sunflower Princess combined with King Fairy here might be alright. Uh, Millis Radiance, make sure you're a Dragonfly. Triple Caribs with some yellow tint and Jaden Face. Synthesis spell, Magical Merchant, haven't seen this before, excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a spell or trap card, add that card to your hand, also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Eh. Gravity Axe, Grawl. Which, isn't there another, like, weird dino in here that I haven't seen yet, but he requires this? The Crypted Monster, uh, the Crypted Monster gains 500 attack, monsters you, your opponent controls, Cannot change their battle positions. Yeah, I think the like the, the card this this goes to, I actually have in real life. I don't remember its name though. Triple Kareebs. With some hieroglyphics and a blue tint. And a Jaden Bam Jaden Bam face. Raijin. Raijin, I should say. All light monsters you control gain 100 attack for each light monster in your graveyard. During your end phase, destroy one light monster you control. There can only be one face of Raijin on the field. The Kick Man, when this card is special summon, you can equip one appropriate equip spell from your graveyard to this card. 
and double caustion, which I was hoping to get one of these too, because not only can you use this as two tributes for dark type, its attack and defense are both above average. Like, it's probably the best card of its equip ah, its effect. Because there's a lot of monsters that are like summon light, summon X, summon Y, summon Z. But this is the strongest one out of those that I've seen. Like, attack and defense wise. Woodland Sprites and one equip card. One equip card equipped it to this card to the graveyard. Flip 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. A micro ray. Target one face at monster on the field. That target's defense becomes zero until the end of the turn. And interior strawberry, which I have like 8,000 of these already. Once per turn, when your opponent normal or special summons a monster target, one of those monsters this card gains 100 attack uh, times the level of that monster until the end phase. Triple Caribs. Beginning of the end. Which will grace. Cool. Beckoning Light. Discard your entire hand, then for each card you discard into the graveyard with its effect, add one light monster from your graveyard to your hand. Alright, so we got Double Caution. We got Gravity Axe Grawl. We got a second Lycanthrope. Uh, what else? We got this King guy, who is pretty good. We got this guy. I think that's it. I okay, we got the tr uh, ritual. I think that's all that was good. And I think, honestly, I'm gonna quad dip, so this is gonna be 40 packs of first 40 pack opening I've done. I probably should reset for Meteor and Caution and Her, though. I guess it doesn't really matter because I haven't drained anything, have I? I haven't lost anything other than the ultra rares, so I don't know. Because I would like another one of them. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really eaten up these freaking super rares yet, so I'm not going to. We're going to go in for a last... But not least 40 pack. I wanted this one to be an extravaganza anyway, so. Oh, sweet, there we go. Fairy King Truesdale again. Which that's enough, I only need two. Fairy of the Spring and Villain Charger. All face up light monster you control gain 300 attack for each equipped card equipped into this card. That's pretty good. Because he buffs himself, so you put a equip card in him. So give him a unicorn horn. Which busts him up to 700. I don't know if it gets 700 defense. I think it does get defense. So he's a 1717 that then becomes a 2017. And he's giving everyone else a 300. So that's pretty good. Trip Caribs, Yellow Tint, Synthesis Spell, High Tide of Fire, and a Seal Bow. Cool. Now we can actually use uh, Seal. The equipped that monster loses 1,000 attack, but it can attack your opponent directly, which you can use this on your opponent's card, so you're decreasing their attack by 1,000, which is pretty broken. Blue tint on this one. Kick fire. Once returned, when a face-up fire monster you control is destroyed by a card effect, place one counter on this card for each uh, destroyed fire monster during each player's standby phases. You can send this card to the graveyard and inflict 1,000 points to your opponent for each counter on this card. Huh. Uh, by a card effect though so you would have to be doing that to yourself create a system where you play a fire card it gets destroyed by your card effects and then you get four counters and then you one shot your opponent major upset and element fire or element valkyrie come on give me something new helping up with a lycanthrope or a synthesis spell ray of hope uh Different Dimension Crazy Beast, I think that's what it stands for. A monster that this card destroys as a rule of battle is removed from play, so 1414, so 
below average, but they're both the same, which is decent, because a lot of times something has a lot of attack but no defense. Triple Karibs. With Psychedelic, maybe we got another Ultra Rare. With Jaden Face. This better be an Ultra Rare. It could be the Thousand Hands guy, or the guy next to him. The Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Select one fiend type monster from your graveyard. Remove for play monsters on your side of the field with total levels equal, exactly equal to the level of the selected fiend type monster. Then special summon the selected monster from your graveyard. You could probably use this with Necrofear if Necrofear can be special summoned from the graveyard. I don't know. She might have a special effect that says no, she can't be special summoned, but she can. Then you can summon her or um, the Archfiend Princess or whatever. Magical Merchants. We already seen. No, it's a super rare. Uh, Jin Prognosticator. Pro oh. Prognosticator? I don't know. Of Rituals. Prognosticator of Rituals. When you ritual summon a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard as one of the monsters required for the ritual summon. If it's blah blah blah. Let's get to what it actually does. Uh, the ritual summon monster inflicts battle damage to the other player. They discard a card. That's pretty good. Fortunately, it's not an Ultra Rare or Lycanthrope or any of the other ones. Kickfire again. Soul Demolition, Elemental, or Element Dragon. This monster gets the following effects while there is a monster wall with the following attributes on the field. Fire gets 500, so it's 2,000. And if, if it's a win, or I should say, or if it's a win, uh, this card destroyed, destroys your opponent's monster by battle. It can attack once again in a row. Single Kareeb. Fu Rin Ka Zan. This is what Dorito combos off of. Coach Goblin. While this card is face up on your field, on your side of the field, you can return one normal monster card in your hand to the bottom of your deck during your end phase to draw one card from your deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. And two man cell battle. Haven't seen this one before. During each Player's end phase, the turn player can special summon one level 4 normal monster from the hand. That's pretty good. And that's Gakugiko there, I think, on the right. I don't know who the left guy is. In Pachi, Gakugiko, and whoever the heck that swordsman is. Coach Goblin, Raijin, and Grey Wing. Come on, give me something good. Triple Karibs. With a Jaden face. A major upset. Give me a black pendant. Oh no, okay. Shooting bow. Shooting star bow seal. I'll take it. It's gonna be 30 minutes. It's gonna take me like 3 hours to uh, save this video. Because having the, uh, the uh, background in motion like that. And having the animated me there in the background as well. Constantly playing eats up the editor to force it to take forever. It takes like an hour and a half to save a 15 minute video pretty much. It's going to take me like two or three hours to save this video. Water Pond. This card is added from your deck to your hand by a card effect. You can special summon this card. Okay, Ritual Grace again. And Fusion Weapon. Here we go. Took me 40 packs, but we got one Fusion Weapon card. Equip only to a level 6 or lower fusion monster. The equipped monster gains 1500 attack and defense. Thank you. Finally. Christ. And that was it. At the very end, we gain fusion weapon. So we got one fusion weapon and one ritual weapon out of this. And that's it. Well, we got that. And we got this, I guess. We got another bow, where we got two bows in the same one. Should I go... Should I just empty all my gems? Just go Hail Mary and just go for it? Looks like I can grab how many more? Eight more? We can go for 48? Screw it, I don't care about my gems. 48. 48 Neo Impact extrav Extravaganta. Triple Kareebs. Hopefully I don't regret this. Chaos M. What is this? You can only activate this card if... Seven or more of your cards are currently removed from play. Destroy all monster cards on the field. That's right. Servant of Catabolism. Two-man sale battle. Cool. We got another one of those. Appreciate that. That's an alright card. Treaty on uniform nomenclature. 
Woodland Sprite, two man cell, triple on that no man cell now, triple Greaves, psychedelic. This might be a super rare. White Dragon Ritual, cool, we got another one of these. It's a effect hollow. Again, thousand hands or the um, water type next to him. Buster Rancher. Only a monster with attack of a thousand points or less can be equipped with this card during damage calculation. Damage calculation. Increase the attack of this monster. Equipped with this card by 2500. Points of the points monster that battles it is in attack position and its attack is 2500 or more. Or the points monster that battles it is in defense position and its defense is 25 or 2500 or more. And it is thousand hands. Send you of the thousand hands. Subpar, but when this card is normal or flip summon, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand, which is alright. Lucy got another ultra rare. So, do we get three ultra rares in this set? Patrol Robo, the Puppet Ma uh, Magic of Dark Ruler, and another Grey Ring, Grey Wing. Come on, because we have another Lycanthrope, because we got three set of these guys. Altar for Tributes. We've already seen that. Ah! Oh. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. This makes it all worth it. Fusion Weapon. Fusion Weapon is better to me than freaking Thousand Hands. Ultra Rare Pull. Triple Caribs. Oh! Triple Caribs and Psychedelic, which means this is... Does this mean this is a Super Rare or a... Ultra? Destruction Cyclone. Phantom Cricket. And... That Sea Serpent guy? No, it's a Super Rare. Dweller of the Depths. This card gains 300 attack for each continuous spell card in your spell and trap card zone. So, this is a, what, a 24 if you have three continuouses in there? Pretty sure, so 2400, which is not too bad. Not what I'm looking for, though. If you could go with another fusion or a ritual weapon, uh, much appreciated. Oh, Lycanthrope! Ubrin Kazin? I think. I already skipped it, so I don't know what it's called. Another one of these stupid dogs. Uh, it's Ku Chulian, the Awaken, which I had one of these before. This is my second one, I think. This card can only be a ritual summon with its ritual uh, spell card. Once per turn, you can remove from play one normal monster from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to the normal monster's attack until the standby phase of your next turn. So, meh. Single Creeps. Okay, so Fu Rin Kazan. White Dragon Ritual. So we have at least three of these now. Ally of Justice. Uh, Garad Holg. And that was it, unfortunately. But we got a three set of these guys. We max out on these guys as well. Though we still need another White Paladin Dragon or whatever it's called. Uh, we have like 8,000 of these Fu Rin Kazan. Uh, we got a full set of two men cell, two fusion weapons, which are, I much appreciate. Oh no, this is actually my third coup. So we have a three set of these, do, how many rituals? I have two of the rituals, so that's, they're almost acceptable, except for the fact that it's garbage card. Uh, this guy's okay. This guy's okay as well. He's essentially... A defensive ritual grabber because you just use them as fodder to grab a ritual card I was hoping really hoping to get a third lichen though I wanted the full set of lichens whoops I didn't mean to click that I wanted the full set of lichens I would have taken a full set of her as well full set of Doritos uh, I definitely wanted another Paladin. Got 48 packs, and I barely got anything I wanted. There's a lot of stuff I did want that I got. But none of I didn't even get another Meteor Dragon for freaking Black Dragon. Or uh, Meteor Black Dragon. Where's that Ritual card? Is it higher up? It's here. Only... Well, actually, I think I have another one of these. I already had one of these. Yeah, I think I already had one of these. So I have, actually do have two ritual weapons and two fusion weapons now. Which makes them kind of viable to put into a deck now. I think we have one seal? We have one seal and two bows. And where's the other guy? Here's the guy I was talking about, Grawl. 
Yeah, you have to have the Grawl Axe. Which I actually do own this card in real life, I believe. So that wasn't too bad. Freaking 35 minutes. I mean, I don't even know if anyone's going to watch 35 minutes of the opening of 48 Neo Impacts. Burning out all my gems. But hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. And you'll keep watching. Like, subscribe, comment if you do. See ya.